Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to attach your spider lamp or spider chandelier to your ceiling. Now before you do that there's a bit of work to be done. Um, now, as you can see, just to save time, I've already done that work. Um, but I'll talk you through it. Now each one of these is referred to as an arm. Um, but I'm going to call them wires. So I have six of these. Now your lamp might have four, it might have eight, or it might have ten. Um, it doesn't matter how many you've got, the process is the same. And we start by taking each wire. Now I've already attached these wires, so you just have to bear with me here. So if we imagine this wire isn't uh, hasn't been attached to this base. What we do is, with each one, you will slide one of these brackets on. And these brackets fit to your ceiling, and they have little screws in them, little plastic screws, that screw in to stop the wire from sliding once you're happy with where you've placed it. Now obviously each of these wires comes with you know, a fitting for your bulb. This is an E27 uh, 40 watt. Can see, just make sure you get the correct bulbs, the correct size, and the correct wattage. Um, once you pull, once you pull that bracket on, you'll slide one of these on to the wire. This will come up to this base and screw on to a thread, which is this thread here. Before putting your wires through you will put this in the base then you'll pull the wire through that and then you'll fold it up the wire and, and screw it onto the thread now on the inside this bit is now on the inside of our base on which we'll place one of these and then this nut and then you'll tighten it onto here, onto this thread, um, and then they're fixed in place. Now once you've done that, you'll gather all of your live wires, oh, you can see that. Well, actually what I'll mention right now is this is an extra piece of wire that is sent, and this connects to your mains wire in your ceiling. Yeah, so we take our live wire on this and we bunch it up with the rest of the lab wires and we put all them together on their own separate from the neutral wires and we push them into this close end connector and once you've pushed them all in there you'll get some pliers or some crimpers whatever and you will squeeze a little metal tube that's in there, you will squeeze that onto the wires as tight as you possibly can. Then once you've done that, you will take this heat shrink tube in. Yep, just let me open it up for you. You'll put it over your connector like that, as you can see. And then we'll get a heat gun and we'll melt that onto the now. I appreciate that most people won't have a heat gun. That's fine. If you've got any insulation tape, just use some insulation tape, and you don't need to, you won't need to use these rubber things. <clears throat> now we do that with both the live wires and the neutral wires, and as you can see, that's what I've done. Yeah. So just to recap, each of our wires has one of these brackets slid on and these will attach to the ceiling and each of our wires will have one of those slid over it and then we will place each of our wires through these threaded um, plastic bolts or whatever you want to call them which will be inserted in here in the base then we'll put one of these over the top 
and then we'll get a nut and screw that nice and tight. And then once we've done that, we'll gather all our lav wires along with this extra wire. We'll gather all our lav wires, gather all our neutral wires. We'll place close end connectors over each set of wires. We will squeeze those tight onto your wires and then we will either tape up or use the, um, the rubber shrink tubing with a heat gun just to give it a bit more stability. And once we've done that, it's time to attach it to our ceiling. And to do that, we have this bracket with our earthing wire. And this bracket will attach to the ceiling like this. This base will slide over this, over it all, and this little nut will keep it in place. Um, we'll get to that, and I'll show you that. Uh, these two wires are going to attach to your mains along with this earthing wire via this block. It's a connector block. Um, so we put those two wires in there along with the earthing wire and then your mains wire will go on the other side of that block. But I'll, I'll get to that, I'll show you that. Um, all the fixtures and fittings are in here. These are for your for these brackets here to attach them to the ceiling so yeah we're ready to uh, put it on the ceiling now now before doing any work um, like this you'll want to make sure that your lights are turned off at the mains box and ours is here lighting downstairs and we'll switch that off as you can see all the lights and it's gone off and yeah, we'll just put it back on for now uh, and once you've done that you can start work on your light now this is where I'm going to be putting the spider lamp um, as you can see there's already um, a light fixture up there I'll have to remove that it did have a lampshade on like that um, I took it off for ease um, we're going to crack on now again that off uh, not forgetting to turn the mains off, the mains power first. So I'm just going to take the screws out of this. The mains power is turned off. Ooh. And, uh, just put these screws down here. Now, as you can see, see we already have a block a connector block so that's the one that we'll use we don't need the one that came with the kit I'll just disconnect this and then this is simple it really is as simple as attaching we'll probably have to replace this bracket um, here um, we have a bracket that came with the spider lamp um, so we'll put that up there and then um, We'll get our lamp up. I appreciate that there's not much light in here, but there's not a lot I can do about that. It's a dull day outside, and I've had to turn the mains off. Um, so all we do to remove this is we just unscrew the little screws in the connector block. And it's super simple to do. We just loosen the screws. wires will come out. As you can see we have a lav, the blue is the neutral, the, the red is the lav and the green and yellow is your earthing wire. So now we take, tuck that down. Okay so to get, to put our new bracket on we're going to have to unscrew the mains wires from this block as well. We may come up and see the block. That's the block. And then we'll have to unscrew the bracket. Now this bracket will be screwed into a wooden joist 
Let it run straight there. And I'll use these same screws to put the new bracket up since I know that the, the, you know, the, the bit snug into that joist. And don't worry if the wire pops out like that. Because you just push it back in when you put a new bracket on. It's not a problem. Now we get our new bracket. Simply screw it back in the same old we used for the other bracket. It doesn't have to be over tight, just make sure it's tight enough. And we have our earthen wire there that's ready to go in the block. Now we're ready to fit our lamp. Just show you a close up of that. Let's get a zoom out a bit. Hopefully you can see that. You just turn it around. So this is our mains wire. This is the earth wire on this bracket. Um, and then we'll get a connector block, we'll put these back in, the connector block, then we'll get the lamp and attach those to it as well. Simple. Okay, so we've attached these wires back to our connector block. Nice and easy. To the neutral. I don't, don't know why it's just a thing I do. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure that everything there is connected. Earth and wires look a bit short. I'm not sure you could make sure that it's in there. And it is. So it's all those wires connected. So the mains wire is now connected to the block. Now we're going to attach our um, lamp wires, uh, wires, should I say, <laughs> to the block, and we are good to go. But actually, right away, what I'll do is I'll put our earthing wire in there while we're here. Put that straight in there. Attached. And we'll put our lamp up. <coughs> okay, so now we're going to attach our ceiling light. Right, I'll just it's a bit zoomed in there, just one second. So we are attaching this wire. Remember, I mentioned this wire earlier. This is the extra piece that they send. Yeah? Well, it's this that we're attaching to the mains. I'll do that right now. Just zoom back in on that. You'll probably want to get someone to help you with this because it's a, a bit difficult to do on your own. Our main worry is this wire coming out. Uh, but I'm confident enough that it's stuck in there properly. Put 
this one in. Looks to be further there than it looks when you're doing it like this. Now that's done. They're all attached. After that. Push that Wayne's, mains wire back in, shall I say. Now what I have to do is guard this threaded uh, bolt through this hole in the base. I don't know if you can see that there. And then we'll oh. no, this we have a nut. You can see that it was on the end of the bolt. What we'll have to do is have to wrap the wires. Make sure that they sit inside of the base. Now, if it doesn't fit snug to the ceiling, there's a nut on this bolt that you'll need to move up. Closer to the ceiling. Once you've done that, you'll put the nut on there. Like that. And that keeps that nice and tight. Now, that's our spider lamp fitted to the ceiling. Right, okay, so I've turned the electricity back on. All the lights, I should say. Um, at the mains box and I think we're good to go now what I've not mentioned in this video is these wires are 1.7 meters long which is about average I think usually all about that long now as you can see each one has one of these brackets which is going to allow us to place these wherever we want on the ceiling um, I'll probably put a couple up off camera and then I'll come back on camera and um, just showing you what I've done and I'll put them up there um, yeah please excuse the kitchen it's a bit of a mess right now um, so we're making a, a breakfast breakfast bar out of oak um, so I've been doing a lot of work on that lately um, but yeah um, I'll put a couple of these up and then I'll show you them up there and show you how to put them up there Okay, so I'm about to put the first two up off camera. Um, you can see them hanging up over that uh, rail there. There's one bulb in, I'll show you the bulbs. Um, in a minute. Um, yeah, so we're gonna work out, we want, it, we want the, the, uh, the bulbs to be hanging almost over this table, which you'll notice is a little bit further forward than the um, you know the ceiling rows so um, we're going to put the first two up and then I'll show you how I did that and put a third one up on camera okay so as you can see I've got two up already and now we're going to put these two up I've marked out um, or we've marked out where it needs to be my fiance is helping me do this and what you'll need is you'll need the raw plugs which came with the lamp chandelier whatever you want to call it and you'll need the screws that come with it you'll need a pencil for marking the holes you'll need a drill and a six milli drill bit So we're going to drill our hole, and you really want to take your time with this, and be as straight as you possibly can. You don't want to make the hole bigger than it has to be. That's one. That's 
to. And it is a messy job, so I prepare yourself for that. And we get our raw plugs and we gently push them in. Very gently. screws and a screwdriver which I, I forgot to mention you'll need a screwdriver it's better to use a screwdriver than a drill because you want to take your time putting the screws in just to make sure that they do they do grab and they don't um, spin your rock plugs around so just gently turn the screw into your rock plug worth taking your time, like I said, just to make sure it grabs. Because if it doesn't, you'll have a bit of a problem on your hands. Uh, we'll just take our time. can if you want use different raw plugs if you want to get some raw plugs specially designed for um, you know ceilings or whatever you can do that if you want but these are these are working they're fine and now we have our once you're happy with where your your wire is where your light's sitting you have these little Clear screws that you put in here on the bottom of the bracket. And what they do is they lock your wire in place so it can't be pulled or pushed around. Or, you know, gravity won't pull it down. And uh, yeah. I think it would have been better if they give us black screws to be honest. Uh, but we'll do. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the rest up and then I'll show you the bulbs I'm using. Right, so we've got four up, as you can see, and it's a nice, the nice light, um, nice bulbs um, that I'll show you once I've got all four, uh, all six up, should I say. I'm just going to show you again. Um, Another one in. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So, again, we're using a 6 milli drill bit. In the centre of the holes that you marked. Nice and easy. And again, we push our raw plugs in gently. possible just to make sure they go in properly. Obviously, you'll place your amps or wires wherever you want them. You can go, you can do it 
randomly if you want and to create some sort of pattern. If you get the um, the ones, the lamps with the ten arms or, or wires, whatever, um, obviously you can make more complex patterns or what have you. So that's our fifth one. Now we're going to put our sixth one in and I'll show you the bulbs I got. So these are the bulbs I bought. Um, and you can use pretty much any type of bulb you want really. Um, as long as you get the um, correct size screw fitting. Which is the large screw cap. E e S E27. These are warm white. And the non non -dimmer, dimmable, which I didn't notice until now actually. And I was going to get a dimmer switch. So it would seem that if I did get a dimmer switch, I would have to get some different bulbs. Um, so yeah, 4 watt, but um, the equals 40 watt I think just means the brightness of it would appear as a 40 watt bulb or something. 470 lumens, which is pretty bright for a, a little bulb. Energy rating, A+++, plus, plus, which is what we're looking for. These were £3 each. I didn't buy these from AliExpress, I bought these from a, a place called um, The Range in the UK, I don't know if you have The Range in where you live. Um, and talking actually on that subject of where you live, I'm aware that the um, wiring in this house might not be the same as where you are. And if that's the case then, you know, look for another video. Um, so yeah, these are the bulbs I'm using. Open that up. As you can see, and this screws directly into your fitting. Apologies if it's, if it's a little bit bright there. We take one of our fittings, just screw the bulb in. Don't worry, they don't get mad up. Screw it nice and tight. And we have that. I'll put the rest in. And um, I'll show you from afar. Okay, so they're all on. And um, I know that they don't, um, it, they look too bright for the camera. But I assure you that, that it is a nice warm light. Um, I think what I might do is in future I might change these bulbs for the um, there's you can get the same bulbs but it's the, they're almost tinted I think is the word they're like a like a browny tint to them and it make you know makes it more of a, a warm glow um, so there's looking at these I think they might be a bit too bright actually they're not as bright as the camera's making it look um, but they are quite bright. So we'll have to think about that. The reason I went for these bulbs is because they were the, the cheapest. Um, the ones I'm talking about, the tinted ones, they're, they're really quite expensive. Um, I suppose I could have a look on AliExpress. Um, yeah, get some that way. So yeah, hopefully this video was useful to you. Like I said, don't be afraid of having a, having a go at it. It's, it is simple. It is a simple thing to put together. Um, just have to be patient and just take your time. You know, it's not a race. Um, yeah. So as for the wires, I mean, you'll see in the nice pictures on the sales pages, these are pies, uh, wire, wires, I should say, appear, you know, perfectly arched. But obviously, that's not the case when you take them out of the box and you unravel them. Um, I suppose you could caress the wire, so to speak try and manipulate it into a nice arch uh, but we're not bothered we'll, we'll leave them as they are for now yeah so they all went into the ceiling um, really well because I took my time and I made sure that the um, screws bit the um, raw plug um, by you know, screwing it in slowly 
and yeah, no problems there. So yeah, I think that's it. There's links in the description. Um, and information. And you know, if you've got anything to say, leave a comment. I always appreciate your comments. Um, by the way, this table, I built this um, yesterday using two pieces of oak and some black metal rods as dividers. And I put some black earth pen legs on it and I bought those stools. I'm going to tell you in case you know, you're interested. Three coats of varnish on top of the oak. Now it's going really nice. So yeah, hopefully that video, this video, uh, was useful to you. Thanks for watching and uh, bye.